Good morning, everyone, and welcome to live stream. Greetings to you, to all over the world from Port Moresby City, Life Institute Ministries Incorporated, PNG, and Taruma Life Church, to everyone that is watching live stream around the world. Welcome to live stream. I have a very enthusiastic crowd here this morning, and the background will be quite noisy because I know they love the Word of God and they appreciate the Word of God and they have seen what the Word of God has done for them. And therefore they will be very noisy and excited. And I know you will also be noisy and excited as you watch this alive. Today I'm going to continue to talk about the blessings of a righteous man. Yeah, I know. You are excited for the blessings. I'll just go over again for the sake of those who did not listen to this, and then we will continue on. I will continuously talk about the blessings of a righteous man till Easter or even after Easter, because this is the day in which the Lord is bringing his blessings to a righteous man all over the world today. If you have been living a righteous life, then you must know that you will now begin to enjoy the fruits of a righteous man and the blessings of a righteous man. Your fruits have matured and it's harvest time now. That's the reason why the Lord has led me to teach on the blessings of a righteous man. If you have been planting in righteousness, then you will harvest the fruits of a righteous man's life. And these are the blessings of a righteous man. Psalms 112. Let's just read that again, just to bring our memories back to where the Lord has spoken to us last Sunday. Blessed is he who fears the Lord, who delights greatly in his commandments. His descendants shall be mighty on the earth. So anyone who fears the Lord and anyone who is righteous, the Bible here tells me that the Lord shall bless you and your descendants shall be mighty on the earth. The greatest blessing that any parents can have is not you having blessings like money and material things. The greatest blessing that any parent can, can enjoy is to see his children become mighty on the planet. What if you had all the riches? What if you had all the name and fame? What if you had everything on the planet and you see your children destroyed, living reckless life, choose to do things that are not right and become a tool for destruction in society? You can enjoy the blessings, but what if you see your children go astray? That's not a blessing. You can enjoy the food God gives you. You can enjoy the beautiful house, drive nice cars, live in peace. But what is all that when you see your children living reckless, hopeless, wicked lives? And they're not mighty. They're begging for food on the street. The Bible tells me here that God 
will bless a righteous man and his descendants will be mighty on the earth this is the blessings of a righteous man I would now invite you and ask you to live an aggressively righteous life not a passively righteous life aggressive and be bold with your righteous life so that you can bring this inheritance to your children that they can become mighty on earth because that's the blessings of a righteous man his descendants will be mighty on the planet the generation of the upright will be blessed these are the blessings of the generation who live righteous life so god will also bless the generation that lives a righteous life and the blessings of that generation is that the children's and the descendants will be mighty on the planet wealth and riches will be in his house wealth and riches will be in his house wealth and riches are not only for businessmen wealth and riches are not only for some politicians or some people who have a high education and the education gives them what they want to get riches and wealth can also be in the house of a righteous man it doesn't tell you you got to be educated to be wealthy you got to be you got to be this and that to be wealthy no this scripture is for everyone make it your aim to become righteous not that you would become rich but a righteous life is a good life the righteous life will secure eternity the righteous life will please god the righteous life is good for humanity because you want arm society you want steal from others you want lie you want cheat righteous life is a good life good for heaven good for you good for your family good for society good for the world good for everyone and because of that god promises because he loves righteousness he is righteous and he loves righteousness that he promises blessings to those who live righteously his descendants shall be great on the planet the generation of the righteous shall be blessed wealth and riches will be in his house wealth and riches are not for some few rich businessmen wealth and riches can be for anybody who is living a righteous life whom the lord has blessed wealth and riches are not for some few helots helots in a nation wealth and riches are for anybody god can bless anybody the grassroots the people on the street anybody anywhere anytime as long as you become righteous we don't become righteous to be rich but one night once i become righteous then god is bound by his own words to honor what he has said can you hear me come on don't take me wrong world listen to me this is not another prosperity teaching i'm preaching the word of god yes the cars we drive they have no name tags the cars have no name tags when they make the cars from the factory they got no name tags the cars don't say this is for businessmen this is for this elite this is for this educated honorable man they have no names it's for anybody if you have the money you can buy it. a poor man can end up having a 
Very expensive car. So what? Who said that that's only for rich people? Yes. The blessings of a righteous man. If you are poor and you are righteous. If you are nobody and you become righteous. If you look down and you become righteous. The blessings of a righteous man are all there for you. You don't need to be a big shot to be filled with riches and wealth in your house. This blessing is for any righteous man. I'm not righteous. I don't become righteous so that my house will be filled with wealth and riches. No. It is my heart's desire to live a righteous life. And I have desired to live a righteous life. And when I begin to walk in a righteous life, God who sees that I walk according to his word, he is compelled, is bound by his own words to honor it. These are not my words. These are not Pastor David D's words. They are God's word and he wrote it. He gave it. He is accountable for his own words. See, when I walk righteously, when I walk with honesty and integrity, when I walk in righteousness and purity, I make God become accountable for what he has said. I can't tell God and say, look, I'm walking righteous. Bless me, bless me. I'm walking in a righteous way. Bless me, bless me. I can't say that. He's not a fool that you should remind him. He's not a fool like you that you could keep reminding. No. He is God of gods and king of kings and the lord of the universe. He is the master of life and source of righteousness. He is a righteous God. He is a just God. The foundations of the Lord's throne are established in righteousness and justice. He is a righteous God. So when you walk in righteousness, in purity, in holiness, he is bound by his own words. And when I walk in righteousness, I make him become accountable to do what he's supposed to do to me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Good lolly for you today. Yeah. Good candy for you today. Yeah. Oh, righteous men, that's your candy for the day today. I don't need to remind God and say, look, I am a righteous man. Bless me now. No. You keep being righteous. And you do what you are called to do. You do what you are commanded to do. You do what you are supposed to do. And let God do what he's supposed to do for you. Uh, hallelujah. Stop dreaming. Stop fantasizing. Stop worrying. Stop wishing. And get on the job. If you want to be wealthy. If you want to be rich. See what the word of God says. Some people become rich by stealing. Lying. Bribery. Tricking people. Stealing from others. Others become so rich. By working day and night around the clock. Good. Please work day and, day and night. God made us to work. And I encourage you to work. And God will bless you. But work righteously. Yeah. Work with a pure heart. So that you can receive double blessings for your life. Hallelujah. How many of you are enjoying so far? Wealth and riches will be in his house. 
wealth and riches will be in his house wealth and riches are not only for the educated the honorable in society the rich the businessmen and women wealth and riches can be for anybody and God will bless anybody is bound to bless you if you walk in righteousness holiness and purity somebody will say pastor I am a righteous man but God is not blessing me well check your tongue check your tongue you might be righteous but you might be defiled in your tongue Bible says life and death are in the power of your tongue whoever loves it will eat its fruit mm -hmm. you can be righteous in many ways but you can be very unclean with your tongue mm -hmm. a man shall eat well by the fruit of his lips a man shall eat well by the fruit of his lips so if your lips has been putting people down saying wicked things and saying things that are not right gossiping backbiting toppling people down with your tongue you might be righteous in other ways but your tongue has failed you to receive the blessings of a righteous man that's a good one for somebody who thinks is righteous check your tongue And somebody might be saying yes i'm a righteous man i don't have, i'm not blessed well check your thoughts you might be righteous in your actions but your thoughts might be wicked weird and you think god will bless people with those kind of weird wicked thoughts and defiled tongues and wicked tongues no he won't you will lose the blessings of a righteous man and you will stay where you are and your children will never be blessed mm -hmm. keep going unto the upright there arises light in the darkness unto the upright there rises light in the darkness if you're walking in darkness remember god will show you which path to take when everything's everything do not go well for you and you are coming to a crossroad where you think everything is dark the bible promises you that there would be light in the darkness for you these are the blessings of a righteous man the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the lord if a student wants to you know decides to live a righteous life god will honor that student god doesn't care what age group you belong to as long as you right from the toddler to the children to the child all the way to the adult to the teenager when somebody decides to do walk in righteousness he will receive the blessings of a righteous man in his stage in his time he will bless you in the schoolwork he will bless you you will be a special student among all the students because why this is what the bible says the lord is righteous he loves righteousness and his countenance beholds the upright his eyes will always be upon the righteous so if there's a student if there's a child who wants to live a righteous life god's eye will be among his eye will be upon that student his eyes will be focused on the student who is righteous there will be many other students but god's eyes will be focused on that righteous student and his favor will begin to come upon him because he is righteous he loves righteousness and his countenance his eyes are upholding upholding the righteous it doesn't matter where you are educated or uneducated tall or short male or female when you are righteous you attract god's eyes
when the righteous face some dark hours hard times the Bible tells me there will be light in the darkness for you God will bring a torch in the midst of your dark hour he will not let you go astray in darkness why you are righteous before him and he knows how to order the steps of a righteous man hallelujah hey i love one scripture i really love one scripture i want to read that to you very beautiful he will guide his affairs with discretion surely you will never be shaken Bible says the righteous are like Mount Zion we shall not be shaken the righteous are like Mount Zion and they shall not be shaken everyone do you hear me the righteous are like Mount Zion and they shall not be shaken when there is a shaking going on in society in a nation the coronavirus is shaking every nation on the planet every setup in the world today is shaking the economy is shaking the government is shaking families and individuals today and if you have established your life in righteousness even coronavirus cannot shake you yeah. hallelujah yeah. hallelujah the lord jesus christ is the king of this nation He's the master of Papua New Guinea and coronavirus has got no power to shake Papua New Guinea. Take it and go, coronavirus. This is not your nation. Coronavirus, you are not welcome in Papua New Guinea. This is not coronavirus country. This is the Lord's country. This is the King Jesus country. You are in a foreign land. Get out of PNG and go and seek refuge somewhere else, but not in PNG. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm teaching my nation to live in righteousness and purity and holiness. And this nation is going to enjoy the blessings of a righteous man. And coronavirus, you've got no place to stay in Papua New Guinea. You are a foreigner, you are an alien. You've got no place in PNG. Coronavirus, you pack up and leave this nation. You are in a foreign land. The generation of the righteous shall be blessed. Yes. The generation of the righteous shall be blessed. And the descendants shall be great on the earth. Yeah. When a nation is blessed, it's blessed. Coronavirus has got no right to come and destroy a blessed nation. No right. You have no place here in PNG. Only Christ has got place here in Papua New Guinea. He's the king of PNG. He's the lord of PNG. He's the savior of PNG. He's the master of Papua New Guinea. Coronavirus, you have no space here in this country. You pack up and leave our nation in the name of Jesus Christ, our master, our savior, our king, the king of PNG. Hallelujah. Come on, come and sing a song. Where are all the musicians? Come on, everyone, get to the stage. We are so excited that Jesus Christ is the King of Papua New Guinea. And we want to just praise Him for a while this morning. Come on, rejoice everyone this morning.
everyone. It doesn't matter what comes my way, the greater one that lives inside of me. His name is Jesus. I'm born a winner. Yeah. More than victorious. Sing it, everyone. I'm a heir of his kingdom. Yeah. Feel with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Sing the song. It doesn't matter what comes my way. The greater one that lives inside of me. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. I'm born a winner. I'm born a winner. I'm victorious. Born and victorious. Come on, sing it. Yeah. Shall never prosper. 